Breaking news out of Southeast DC. One man is dead in a triple shooting that happened not too far from the Prince George's County line. Matt Gregory is live at the uh, near the scene of the shooting. Matt, what can you tell us so far? Hey, good morning. Well, I can tell you that even though it's been a several hours, there is still an active scene here. There's still officers, detectives on the scene because there's a lot of evidence around 90 rounds of bullets, a barrage of firepower unleashed here last night. And that's why police say that number of bullets fired is why they believe there may be more than one shooter responsible for this one. So let's take you to what police have told us so far about the investigation. Now, they found out about this when residents flagged down officers around 1030 last night in the neighborhood. The uh, residents in the neighborhood had seen a shooting. When they got here, officers found three people shot, two men and a woman. Sadly, the one man did die at the scene. The two others were taken to a hospital. At this point in the morning, their conditions are unknown, but we're, we're working to update that. Detectives and forensics teams picked through the bullet casings, and they found around 90 rounds of bullets fired during the shooting. That's a heavy amount of firepower, and that has led police to believe that more than one shooter was involved. We're getting um, information it may have been multiple shooters um, based on a number of rounds that we are recovering as well. Um, like I said, we don't know the exact number as of yet, but there are quite a few. So we believe that it, were, it was multiple shooters. And it's just sad, the number of weapons that are out there, the um, quality of the weapons, it's sad. Yeah, you can see there's vans coming out behind me right now. At this point, police say they do not have any suspect or suspects in mind. They don't know the motive, so they're working to learn that. This morning, here's what we're doing. We're reaching out to police to find out the latest on the shooting, including that information about potential suspects. We also want to know the name of the victim who died, and we also want to know the conditions of the other two who were taken to the hospital. As I said earlier, we don't know their conditions at this point, and we're also working to learn more information about what happened and how this plays into the overall violent night across the district. But for now in Southeast, I'm Matt Gregory. Back to you.